Let's determine if one-half and two-fourths are equivalent fractions using two different strategies. Each circle represents one whole. Let's partition the first circle into halves, two equal parts. Here's one half, and here's another half. Let's represent one half. Let's partition the second circle, the second whole, into fourths, four equal parts. One fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. Let's represent two fourths. It looks like one half and two fourths are the same size and they cover the same portion of each circle. Let's check by placing two fourths on top of one half. When I placed two fourths on top of one half, it showed that both covered the same area, the same portion of the whole. That means that one half is equivalent to two fourths. Let's try another strategy to determine if two fractions are equivalent. I'm going to use Cuisinier rods, but you can also use fraction strips. The brown rod represents one whole. Two halves are equivalent to one whole. Let's double the number of fractional parts by using the red rods to represent one whole. Four fourths are equivalent to one whole. We went from two fractional parts to four fractional parts. The number of fractional parts equivalent to one whole have doubled. Let's represent one half. Let's represent two fourths. I can see that one half is equivalent to two fourths. I can use the identity property of multiplication to verify if my fractions are equivalent. I started off with one half, then I doubled my fraction or multiplied by two. and it is two-fourths. One-half and two-fourths are equivalent fractions.